I love that we're going to be seeing you here in the Walton's movie for Christmas. It's such a special series. What made you want to be a part of this? I, um, I mean, I grew up knowing the Waltons and knowing the phrase "Good Night, John Boy." So getting the audition in and of itself was so special. But I think what I love most about being attached to it is everything that we're portraying, especially this um, family and unity um, that you don't necessarily see on TV much anymore. I think that it's really special to see a family sitting down together to have breakfast and praying over the meals and these sibling bonds and dynamics. And we fight, but we love each other. And I mean, there's so much that's so special about the Waltons that I think that I'm really excited for people to see. And I think people will receive really well. How was Mary Ellen then originally described to you? Um, so Mary Ellen, I mean, she is, she's a fighter. She is a, she's one tough cookie. I mean, she knows exactly who she is and she does not let anybody tell her that who she is is not okay. Um, she Good. kind of defies against what, especially during at that time, what people define a woman to be. And I think Mary Ellen's definitely an emerging feminist and that she um, does not let what, um, she wants to do or the things she wants to accomplish or who she is be belittled because she's a woman she defies all of that and she pushes past all of it which I think is something that rang true to me because it's a lot of who I am and I know I've known exactly who I am since I was five years old and that hasn't always been received really well and I know that my confidence in myself kind of um deterred other people from being friends with me and I didn't know why I just never really fit in in my school environment growing up um, but it wasn't until I got involved in the things that I was passionate about where I truly started blossoming and finding like-minded people and I think that's a lot of um, what I learned in my through that that who I am is enough and I just I, need, I don't need to let what anybody thinks about me define me and that's a lot of who Mary Ellen is. <laughs> Was there anything you added to her then, or was it just so well written on the page that you were like, this is me, I'm just going to go? It very, Mary Ellen was very much myself, so I felt like there wasn't much that I needed to add. I mean, Jim Strain, our writer, was so incredible in crafting this character. It was so special getting the initial audition because I felt like I was reading about myself on a sheet of paper. So it was so cool to get to bring that up. And there are obviously some elements of Mary Ellen that are not very much me. I'm not quite, and especially towards the beginning of the movie, I'm not quite as snarky as Mary Ellen can be, but um, I find a lot of myself in her. Were you familiar with any of your co-stars before signing on to the project? Yes, actually. I had been able to work with Bellamy and Ben um, before on an ABC pilot years ago and Bellamy so uh, cool. played my mom there. So it was so special to come here and have her play my mom again. And then, um, Christian Finlayson, who plays Jason and I, had a lot of mutual friends and had followed each other on Instagram and had each other on Snapchat for years. So it was so funny to, um, it was so funny to, for both of us to be booked on this project because we showed up on the first day of rehearsals and I was like, Christian, it was so <laughs> funny. Well, we know that uh, the show centers around your father trying to come home and reunite with the family. What's going through Mary Ellen's mind during this time? Obviously, I mean, she's very nervous. I mean, it's really nerve wracking hearing about this storm on the radio and him being on the icy roads is definitely just like the rest of the family, very concerning for her. So um, she's trying to hold together as best as she can, but obviously praying that he does make it home in time. I think the setting is so beautiful. It looks freezing <laughs> and everything looks so Christmas time. Oh, and yes. Was this one of those films that shot technically during summer or were you guys full on freezing filming it in a winter setting? It was 115 degrees in Covington, Georgia, where we filmed. It was anything but freezing. I mean, we were in <laughs> wool coats with scarves and hats and long sleeves and pants. I mean, I had overalls. So um, we were in all of these winter, winter clothes in 115 degrees in Covington, Georgia, the blazing sun out. I mean, it was a lot, but underneath all of our clothes, my favorite thing ever, we had these vests with ice packs that could go in the back of them <laughs> so that we wouldn't get too hot, which was really fun because I, I had never seen that before. I get hot super easily. So I was really nervous about the winter setting, but then when costumes brought us those vests, 
steps. I was like, this is genius. Why have I never seen this before? I would like one of those for my own personal every day wearing. I don't need it for just, you know, filming in the summer. <laughs> I would just love to, I love to be cold. So I think that would be something I would want. Um, oh yeah. I check mean, that for my <laughs> The whole movie must be super special to you and being a part of this must have been so incredibly touching. What were some of your favorite moments from filming it? I think, I don't know if I can necessarily pinpoint a favorite moment from filming because I mean, from the from our first rehearsal to the last day of filming, we were a family. I mean, we spent all of our time together and we laughed and made jokes and shared all of these incredible experiences together. And we really all did become one big close knit group. And that's so special because the bond that you're watching on screen and the bond that you're watching in this movie was so authentic and genuine in real life. I mean, we all still keep in touch all the time, especially um, Logan Troyer, who plays John Boy, is now like one of my, one of the most nearest and dearest people in my life. And we talk most every day. And I mean, Christian and Calloway, Samuel Tatum, I mean, everyone, Bellamy, Ben has really just become so incredibly close and important mm -hmm. to me. And it's so special that we had that bond and more off screen. What does it mean to you then to be a part of this iconic series, revisiting it? It's, it's, I think it's so needed right now. I think that the Waltons and the values and morals and everything attached to it are so incredibly needed right now because especially coming out of a season of COVID and loneliness and we're all isolated and to ourselves, it's so special to be able to watch such unity on screen and people fighting for the things they believe in, fighting fiercely for the people that they love. It's such a special and unique storyline that's so, so incredibly needed in a time like now. My goodness. I know you've been busy working on a lot of projects recently as well. What has been keeping you super busy? So I have been doing obviously a lot of film projects. My um, last project I had come out was just beyond for Disney plus, which was so much fun. I got to attend the screening for that in October. Um, and got to reunite with um, my, one of my very dearest friends, Megan Stott, who I met filming that she's so incredible. And I did uh, fear street Two, which released on Netflix this summer. And um, have done some project, a lot of projects leading up to that, but those are my two most recent ones. And then on top of that, I'm also the current Miss America's Outstanding Teen and have been doing wow. a lot of appearances with that and working with community service and my social impact initiative, which is an art scholarship program. I was going to ask you that, you know, totally brought me to my next point is that, um, you know, many people still see pageants as sort of archaic, but I really think this is a great way for women to really take back what feminism is and you know, step forward into the light, and not be just, you know, smiling faces and waving, you know, what does it mean to you to be a part of, or at least what have you really taken away from being a part of Miss Teen America? Um, I mean, the Miss, Amor Miss America organization okay, has you. truly um, changed my life and taught me a lot about myself that I didn't know before. And um, I love the direction that Miss America is going in right now with the 2.0 initiative and really focusing on the content of our characters and the things we believe in and the things that we're passionate about and providing us scholarships. I mean, Miss America is the largest scholarship provider for young women in the world. And it's really special to be a part of that. And um, I know that I have loved not only through myself, but all the young women involved in the organization, watching them work with their social impact initiatives and really fight for the things that they're passionate about is so special because there are 13 year olds lobbying on Capitol Hill for increased arts education. And there are 14 year olds in hospitals helping with cancer research. I mean, these, the young women involved in this organization are truly, truly special. And I'm just so honored that I'm now able to represent them on a national level. It's such a beautiful platform for you all to be able to spread, you know, charity work and initiatives that you guys are a part of and bring awareness to them. Um, are there any other charity outlets you've been busy working with? Uh, the main charity outlet that I have been um, working with is my own personal um, organization that I founded when I was 14. It's called STARS, which stands for Supporting the Arts Through Resource and Scholarship. And it's an art scholarship program that I founded that um, is able to provide 
the necessary funds and resources for school age children to get involved in after school arts programs like dance lessons, voice lessons, guitar, photography, painting, I mean, whatever art outlet that you can think of, we provide scholarships to. So I am incredibly okay. passionate about that organization and have been doing a lot with that. How can people then get involved with STARS? We have a website, um, starscholarshipprogram.org, where people can go and donate directly. Um, you can also contact me through my Miss America's Outstanding Teen Instagram, uh, which is at MAO Teen, with ways that you can get involved personally. We're always looking for people to help get involved. I also have a junior board. Um, so if anybody's interested in joining that, I mean, you can reach out to me through the MAO Teen page as well. Wonderful. Well, what would you like to say then to everyone who are continued fans and supporters of the incredible work you do, whether it's on screen or through the Miss Teen America? I mean, one, just thank you so much for supporting. And I mean, look out for the Waltons. It really is such, such a special project. I don't even have the right words to describe what this project means to me and to the people that are attached to it. Um, I can't wait for everybody to finally be able to see this project that we really poured our heart and soul into. I mean, I've been able to see the movie twice now and both times I have been incredibly emotional and I look like a train wreck after I watch it both times. It's such a special project. So, I mean, I would just love for all of you to tune in. We're on the air November 28th at 7, 8, uh, 8 7 central on the CW. Uh, we have a second airing on December 11th, and then we'll hit every Walmart in America on December 14th. So mm -hmm. I can't wait for all of you to see it. We'll also be streaming on the CW app. So 